What's going on everybody? Brad here, host of the Jurassic Park podcast. And today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some recent official and unofficial images of the Universal Studios Beijing Resort via a press release and some recent tweets from Twitter user at scoop underscore universal. So this project was announced back in 2014 and Universal Beijing Resort is expected to open in China in 2021. According to the press release, you'll be able to see such lands as Kung Fu Panda Land of Awesomeness, Transformers Metro Base, Minion Land, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and many, many more offerings. But the reason we're here today is because they also announced Jurassic World Isla Nublar. So let's go ahead and read straight from the Jurassic section of the press release. Welcome to Jurassic World Isla Nublar. Guests of all ages can explore Isla Nublar, an island of wonder and thrills where dinosaurs roam the earth again. Universal Beijing Resort has taken the essence of this legendary film franchise and created a larger-than-life destination for our audiences to experience attractions and adventures never seen before. Feel the power of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, Velociraptors, Ankylosaurus, and the fearsome Indominus Rex at Jurassic World Isla Nublar. Of course, that all sounds absolutely amazing. Let's go back and look at some of the initial concepts for this park. Here is some of the uh, original concept art, which you can see features the old visitor center, the old Jurassic Park styling, which is very interesting. You even see Jurassic Park, the ride in the back there. So it's interesting to know that they went the full Jurassic World route with this new concept art where you can see the innovation center. There is a mountain, there is an aviary, looks to be maybe like a restaurant and some other buildings, a giant show building. There is a lot to offer here for Jurassic World fans. So why don't we go ahead and take a closer look? So like I said, you have uh, all those buildings there. You also do see in the bottom left, you can see the Jurassic World gates. I'm assuming there's another gate on the other side, up in the top right corner. Um, it, it, there's a few buildings I just don't know what they are, but let's take a look at some of the ones we do know. So right in the center, you have the Innovation Center, which will most likely be an entrance to that big show building back there, which will be a full Jurassic World uh, Indominus Rex encounter attraction. So don't necessarily think Jurassic World the ride at Universal Studios Hollywood, but think something more high concept with a faster vehicle, a bigger vehicle, something on land that can traverse different scenes with big animatronic dinosaurs. This thing's gonna be spectacular. So like I said, I assume the Innovation Center will hold the queue for that attraction. Of course, we do have this giant lagoon. Who knows, maybe the Mosasaurus could play a role in that part of the park. We also do see next to that lagoon something that looks very familiar, something along the lines of Thunder Falls Terrace in Universal Orlando. It kind of looks vaguely similar to that structure. Maybe it is a restaurant over there. On the left-hand side, you do see a giant mountain uh, carved out of stone and rock. It looks pretty impressive there, right next to the aviary. And if you look very closely there, you might be able to see some sort of roller coaster track on the inside of that glass dome. That seems really, really cool. Can't really tell exactly what's going on there, but there may be some more hints on the outside of that rock work. You might see something that looks vaguely similar to a roller coaster track. Very hard to tell at this point with the grainy image. If that rock structure looks anything similar to the volcano at Volcano Bay in Orlando, this thing is gonna look super impressive. So like I said, you do have one entrance in the bottom left with the park gates. There is another building over on the left hand side below the show building. Not exactly sure what's going on over there. It looks like there's some trees, maybe even some more rock work along the side of that building. Very hard to tell. The pathways look pretty wide open, which may be good if you want to see some of those roaming dinosaurs around this land. Now, something I don't indicate here on the map itself is a potential blue meet and greet. I would hope they personally go for a fixed meet and greet position outside of blue just standing out in the open like they do at Universal Hollywood. And another spot that I'm not too uh, sure of just yet is this building over next to the Innovation Center. Uh, it kind of looks like it might have some sort of white structure along the outside. Is that a cave? Is it a set of dinosaur fossils? 
I'm not too sure there, but it's a decently sized building. So who knows what we can find in that space. I'm guessing that the next set of park gates is right next to that. I'll indicate it there in the video for you. But I will say this is very, very promising. If you look at the size of that show building, it looks pretty much on par for the show building, which will most likely be Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. If you know anything about that attraction, it's an insanely immersive experience, a very nice sized attraction with some really believable set pieces. Let's hope we get the same for Jurassic World. So I wanted to take another look at this concept art here that they also released. You see the Jurassic World gates lit up. It looks amazing. You see the doors there. You got the trees all over this place, giving it a nice jungle atmosphere. And you see the Innovation Center there in the background. This looks really beautiful. And I love the fact that they're using Isla Nublar on the, the gates itself, indicating that's exactly where you are. I do not believe the ones in Universal Studios Hollywood indicate Isla Isla Nublar, but you're supposed to know that's where you are. Next up, I wanted to take a look at some images released via at scoop underscore universal over on Twitter. So these are somehow taken from around the building uh, construction of Universal Studios Beijing. There in the background, you can see those dual peaks uh, for that mountain with the aviary right there in the foreground. This looks really impressive. That is giant. You can see that it is taller than that big roller coaster, which is the Transformers roller coaster, which is pretty similar, I think nearly identical to the Hulk roller coaster in Universal Orlando. And look at those cranes, they're towering over. This is gonna be one giant mountain. And here we have an even closer look. Wow, that thing looks incredible. That uh, aviary structure is really, really big. If you look at these buildings um, and compare them to how big a human would be in scale with this, look, in the foreground you do see vehicles. Comparatively, yeah, that's giant. Those buildings in the background are huge. And you can see some sort of structure on the inside of the aviary there. But you can see those green structures inside. What is it? Is it a roller coaster? Looks like it to me. Now here we have a very good look at the structure underneath that innovation center. You can see the peak there uh, with the uh, ground structure below that. And behind that, you actually can see the show building for this attraction. This is gonna be giant. Oh man, I can't wait to walk up Main Street there and see that Innovation Center. That will literally be a dream come true. That is absolutely spectacular. I can't wait to see this come together. And that show building, like I said, is pretty giant in the back there. So expect some big stuff from that attraction. And here we have the second image in that tweet, which is just the left-hand side of the Innovation Center, getting a better look at that show building in the background. Wow, that is really impressive. And finally, from at scoops underscore universal, we have a look at some concept art featuring a Mac Rides coaster around that mountain. I'm not exactly sure that's the current iteration that they are going for. It looks a little bit different than what they released in the official concept art. So I'm not sure we're gonna see exactly what was going on here. So I know I am very excited for what they are offering at the Universal Beijing Resort, but I wanna know what you guys think. Are you excited by this giant mountain, the aviary, the big attraction, the innovation center? What do you like most about this concept? Please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you think. Be sure to head to our website, JurassicParkPodcast.com. Follow us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify by searching for the Jurassic Park Podcast. And follow us on Twitter at Jurassic Park Podcast. Thank you so much for watching this video and enjoy.